Welcome back, everybody. Glad you're here. Uh, Sony just dropped the new trailer for Craven the Hunter. Um, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know anything about it. I haven't read anything about it. I know uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is in it. He's no he's no stranger to Marvel, much less superhero books. Uh, he was the original in Kick Ass. Uh, he was the main character in the Avengers movies. He was Quicksilver. Um, Pietro Maximoff killed in uh, Age of Ultron. Um, so he's been around for a while. He's been in some other stuff. Um, Russell Crowe is in it. They do, they're not giving him a name. Uh, from what I've been able to tell, just looking at IMDb, uh, they don't have a character name for him yet released yet. Uh, but they do have Rhino in this, and they do have Chameleon in this. So that's going to be interesting because uh, last time we saw Rhino was an amazing Spider-Man, um, and it was not good. Um, I don't think anyway, in my personal opinion, but, uh, of course they have a chance, a chance to revamp this. Now, of course the problem here is that it's coming from Sony and Sony does not have a very good track record of doing well with Spider-Man movies. Um, uh, Mobius sucked, uh, really not very good at all. Um, the second Venom movie, uh, Let There Be Carnage was not very good at all. Um, the first Venom movie was okay. Problem is, is that they're introducing all these Spider-Man villains because they have the rights to it, but they're not putting Spider-Man in there. Um, so I don't know what I don't know what to make of this. But they dropped a three-minute trailer, so we're gonna get into this, try and find out some stuff, see how it looks, and uh, get our initial impressions and see. Uh, what we have to look forward to. So without any further ado, this is Craven the Hunter. Do you know that this is the Red Band trailer, the official Red Band trailer, so there could be some language in it. Um, but uh, this is a three minute, nine second trailer, so here we go. My son. Never show mercy. They are prey. We are predators. Okay, so Russell Crowe is his father. Boys, your mother is dead. She died because you sent her away. She was weak, sick in her mind. You know my business, yes? Power is about strength. If you show weakness, you will give our enemies an opening. Shoot. Shoot. Ah. He's weak, like his mother. Leave him. What happened that day? I stared death in the face, and for the first time, I saw my true self. Tell me about this hunter. They say he uses a connection with animals to track his prey. And once you're on his list, there's only one way off. The six of us, there's only one of you. There's six of you now. Oh. My father puts evil into the world. I take it out. I think you're some kind of honor. You are exactly like our father. Just another man hunting for a trophy. We're murderers. Isn't that what he taught us? You don't get to do that to me anymore. Mr. Teglin? Mr. Teglin? Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. You're a goddamn lunatic. Oh, you just figure that out now? There is an animal in 
than each one of us. Don't you want to know why they call me the Rhino? Okay, that looked cool. <laughs> All right, so Craven comes in October. Um, all right just first impressions definitely an action flick um they're giving him superpowers which is not something that i recall the original craven having craven was just a very um dedicated hunter professional hunter expert tracker um worked out a lot but he wasn't superhuman in any way that i recall i was never a really big fan of craven I was, and, and i think it was because he wasn't a super villain. He was just the villain. But he was very good at what he did. Craven's Last Hunt was a great storyline if you ever got a chance to read it. So I strongly suggest looking it up. Um, and he was always a, a, a great um, villain for Spider-Man because he worked really just off of his own strengths and off of his own cunning, setting traps and being that kind of a guy. But he was never superhuman. So here it looks like they're they're going to separate route, getting him some superhuman abilities. Um, okay, I hope they don't overdo it. You know, just kind of giving him like amped stamina, strength, speed kind of thing. I hope that the storyline is better than what it appears. Uh, so he's definitely going to be the anti-hero here. His his father's going to be the big baddie, and he's just going to be the baddie, but he's going to be the baddie that hates the baddie, so that makes him the anti-hero, right? Okay, so good for him. Um, but if, if this just turns into something like uh, just an action flick for the sake of action without any real character development, it's really going to fall flat on his face. Like, it'll be worth watching one time, but you're not going to go back to it. Um, which, which was really what happened with Mobius. The depth just wasn't there because they didn't develop that character correctly at all. Um, the script was just really weak. So I'm hoping they do a better job here. I hope they learned their lesson and did a better job here. Um, but these days, I don't know. So I will definitely go see it. I think it looks good. Um, it looks intriguing, if nothing else. So I have to say that. Um, I love the look of him. Maybe he's got that classic pose uh, from from the from the comic books right there. Uh, that's a, that's just a classic Craven pose. Um, giving him the lion's mane, uh, Shaw just he, he really looks the character. So I'm glad they they at least gave him that. Uh, the rest of it, I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's it's pretty big dropping a three minute trailer for your first trailer, uh, not a teaser, not just a regular two minute trailer, but dropping it and and really kind of early because you got July, August, September, October, four months. Um, so hopefully they don't release too much. Hopefully they didn't like really drop a whole bag of stuff here and everything else is just going to be like meh and not really feed us anymore and really uh, drive up the amp for it. So I'm, I'm cautiously apprehensive um, and I'll just leave it there. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm cautiously apprehensive, but intrigued. Okay. So I'll, I'll go that direction and, and give it that much. If nothing else, uh, Calypso's in there. Calypso. I don't believe I, if, if Calypso is a, a character from the, from Marvel, I don't recall her at all. I don't, so she may have been like a lesser character that they kind of pulled up. That thing with Rhino at the end with him changing, that looked cool. Um, seeing how Chameleon's going to play in this is going to be pretty interesting as well. Because um, Chameleon was always more of a espionage type guy. You know, he changes, his technology is just like changing his appearance. So how they're going to work him into this is, is going to be interesting to see. Um, so, so this could be pretty interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I kind of like to keep talking and I keep being like, yeah, okay, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. So uh, I might talk myself into like really, I don't, I don't want to like get hyped for this because 
so many letdowns lately and I just I can't take anymore. So I'm just like cautiously, apprehensively intrigued. I'm just going to leave it there. Hopefully I'm pleasantly surprised. In a perfect world, I'll be blown away. And this will be one that a sleeper hit that comes out and just knocks our socks off. Okay. <laughs> we can all wish. <laughs> In the meantime, do me a favor and let me know what you, do, what you thought. Hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you have not already. But just really drop me a comment. Is this great or not? You know, are you looking forward to this or not? I want to know. So what do you think about Craven? Are you a fan of Craven? Uh, is this spinning your gears? Or... Uh, just, are you burying your head? I want to know. In the meantime, y'all come back later. We'll do it again. Y'all be good. I love you. Bye.